Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati Allah, Ati Ya Rasul walul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukal ajisu da'ifu, miskinu zalim wa jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. InshaAllah. A'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Alhamdulillah for Allah gave us a life in which to be within this holy month and the secrets of Surah Yaseen heart of Qur'an and alhamdulillah the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And all that we see happening upon the earth and the difficulties that people experience in life and we pray that Allah open our hearts towards Divinely Rahmah and the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad That all that we talk about of the heavenly kingdom and all that people are arguing about as the inhabitants of that kingdom and its representatives and that our life is about being from that kingdom and exhibiting the characteristics of Allah's heavenly kingdom. For the ones whom exhibit that characteristic and within their heart and within their being they carry the heavenly kingdom then those are the inhabitants of Allah's kingdom in the malakut in the world of light. Means you have to act and be from that in our dunya so that to even have a chance of entering within the akhirah. Means those who want to enter into Allah's Divinely Kingdom but they conduct themselves as inhabitants of hell then how can they feel they have access to that reality? And our life was to exhibit the characteristics of paradise, be paradise people, act like paradise people, talk like paradise people. So that you are walking as a paradise people upon this plane. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And as a result, Allah opens the heart of the servant to be like paradise people. And they carry the kingdom of Allah within their being, within their wujud, within their heart. And all these hadiths then begin to describe them, the qalb al-mu'min baytullah. That if they clean their heart and purify their heart, purify their character, Allah will make their heart to be His home. And as a result, if Allah occupies the heart of the servant with His lights and with His grace and His rahmah, this attracts then the reality of Nabeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. And Allah described, these are the best of company, those are the people whom are with Allah Then how can somebody walk the earth with the heart of Allah occupied with the inhabitants of Nabeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and not be then from the righteous and their conduct not to be righteous. Means it, it exhibits itself, it's a truth that's self-evident 
Nut the lies of the tongue when we see Allah describing the first thing when somebody dies Allah seals their mouth. Now we see everywhere everyone's tongue, tongue is just flapping. Each one saying they're great, they're this, they're that, they're the righteous, they're the chosen, they're the best, this, 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 this and Allah gives to us, look we're going to seal their mouths the first thing. As soon as they enter the grave they seal the mouth of the servant. And it's not the mouth that vindicates us in Allah's kingdom, it's actions and deeds. Because that we see now that, that social media shows to us the mouths are very active. Everybody has a, how, how fancy their mouth then imagine then the graphics and, and, and all of them the illusions that they can add to everything. And it's the actions and deeds that signify that character. And what Prophet brought for us and gave to us to follow only Allah they represent the heavenly kingdom upon this earth through their actions and through their deeds. That through our actions and our deeds that we must be the inhabitants of paradise regardless of the effects of hell that surround us. Because hell has a tendency to make people shayateen. So how to walk upon an earth that filled with hellfire inhabitants and keep the conduct and mannerisms and the way of paradise in which not to anger Allah and not to distance ourselves from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And this becomes the difficulty in which Prophet described that your faith will be like a hot coal in your hand. Because keeping the faith is not the yelling and the screaming, going out and ripping the cars and buildings and businesses and, and uh, all of these bad characteristics that people do out of anger. But how through difficulty to carry one's faith that it becomes like your faith is burning your hand. That your faith itself is hard to carry, the ability to keep yourself straight and righteous, straight and no crookedness. And that becomes the adabs and the practices, the importance, the immense, immense importance that not to lose your coordinates and the safety of salawat and through the sharif. That when hit through difficulty and negativities of, of the shayateen all around and people wanting to enter the streets and exhibit their angers, make your durud the sharif, make your salawat upon Prophet make your tafakkur and your connection. And then you've entered in the reality of Prophet hadith that in the last days keeping your faith would be like a fire within your hand, a coal. Your faith would be like a hot coal. Not the dunya would be hot coal but keeping your faith would be a hot coal. In the face of every type of difficulty, every type of corruption, every type of deceit and deception. And SubhanAllah Allah gave us the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad and perfected his nation. We're not waiting for a fake Jesus, that's for other people. But he gave to us deceit, dajjal because this is the PhD nation. This is not the nation closest to the baboons, this is the nation that are representing paradises. And they're under the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad and he gave instructions for his nation that, be careful of dajjal and the dajjal system of deceit and everything that is a deception. Now artificial 
intelligence is the chief of that deception. They can make videos of you speaking any language, saying anything and doing anything. The pinnacle of deception is just beginning, meaning what? That is dajjal. This is the greatness of Prophet Because when his zuhur is beginning to open dajjal, all his toys are becoming present. So when you see AI it means the presence of dajjal, deceit, artificial, Allah gave everything in the words. He didn't say, this is intelligent, He said, this is artificial intelligent. Be weary because it's not what you think it is. This is the greatness of Prophet giving to his nation. Mom, deception, so everything is deception. We now witness a genocide of people and its own leadership are enjoying lifestyles in Qatar and Dubai, playing with billions of dollars and children in private schools. They declared a, a war against an enemy much more powerful than themselves and they live in exile while the people have been slaughtered worse than sheep. will stand for their rights from their own nation, munafiqeen, don't worry about other nations, they have their own issue from their own nation, their own leadership. They sold their people for a bag of coins. This is the deception. Then more people are deceived to go out on the streets and to be angered and angry and they don't know who they're angry at. Their own leadership sold the people, their own leadership are in exile in, in estates and with billions and millions in their accounts and by stroke of a pen, a telephone and a command they unleashed a horrific fire upon their own people. What can a people do when their own leadership sells them, doesn't care for them, less than trash for them? And this is the, the great difficulty that the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad has entered. And this was the reminder of Karbala for those whom don't like to understand and don't like to think. But those whom guided by Imam al Husayn said, this would never end until Sahib Zaman comes to bring his sword against 70,000 Muslim scholars, they will be killed, their heads will be cut off. And the bulk of their crime we can see it upon this earth, unjust to their people, un, uncorrect and deceitful to their own people. The immensity of deception they put upon their own people and what Imam al Husayn represents for that. It was an outside, it was his own nation that came to destroy him. His own nation that called them, come and give us guidance and bring for us the light of Sayyidina Muhammad your beloved grandfather, bring that light to us and guide us. And when he entered into their region they closed their windows and their doors and said, we don't know who you are and left them in the hands of his own enemies from his own nation. And it represents for us that everywhere for the Muslim nation is a Karbala. And every day is an ashura in which their own amirs and imams sell them, neglect them and leave them to be destroyed. And with deceit and deception blame someone else. This is the immense sadness of this reality. 
the immense sadness of what people are doing to their own people from our nation and the immense importance for people to contemplate. Seek out the ulul am that represent the heavenly kingdom not the dunya kingdom. The dunya kingdom they are all intoxicated. If dunya was a wine they're all alcoholics. They're so infatuated and intoxicated with their dunya they can no longer see right and wrong and every decision is wrong. Everything that they do for the people is not for the people, it's for themselves. How to declare a fight when you're not amongst the fighting is cowardice. It's a leading people to slaughter and this is the leadership and people say, oh they're going to issue like to fight with people. A fatwa to fight, what fatwa to fight with these crooks? These are not the people that anyone should stand behind, these are not the people that anyone should be listening to. These are the crooks and thieves of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad These are of the 70,000 that their heads must be taken. We wait for those whom are just and that their love for the nation and love for Sayyidina Muhammad The ulul am who will live and die amongst their own people, not hide in towers. Those whom Allah deem to be righteous servants of the heavenly kingdom. They walk, they talk, they eat and they breathe from the heavenly kingdom. And they conduct themselves upon this earth from the heavenly kingdom. Regardless of the extent of shayateen and the influence of shayateen, I walk through the valley of death but I fear not for I know that you are with me. Allah through all His holy books describe these servants. Not that they give in to the shaitans become influenced by the shaitans and then represent the shaitans. But that their practices, their deeds, their actions exemplify the heavenly kingdom and the sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad And they conduct themselves with love, with kindness, with mercy. With whatever Prophet established for a nation representing paradises. If they fight and they ask to surrender, you surrender. Not to harm the women, not to harm the elderly, not to harm the children, not to harm even the trees and the livestock. That they would fight in the face of oppression, as soon as somebody wanted to stop they would stop and accept their repentance. Means how one conducts themselves in the face of agitation and aggravation like we said is the lemon test. When you conduct yourself through good times it's evident is good, you're good. But to be angered and through difficulty or war and combat but to conduct yourself as if a paradise people, a paradise people who represent Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That Allah I am Allah the most compassionate and most merciful. This is the guidance and leadership of Sayyidina Muhammad That this conduct, this goodness, this love, this is heaven and to keep it in your hand is going to be like burning fire. Because Satan and shaitan is all around you and anybody who represents violence and hate and hatred and destruction is all from shaitan. 
Shaitan didn't like Sayyidina Adam and he definitely doesn't like the children of Adam and Eve. So gave to us Prophet everything to be clear, Kitab al-Mubeen, Imam al-Mubeen, everything in a clear book for us from a clear Imam whom everything is written upon his soul that keep yourself in the light, keep your conduct in the light, keep your heart in the light. Regardless if the fire surrounds you of bad character and demons and devils. We pray that Allah give us strength through difficult times and that we keep ourselves and our conduct and our love and our attitude towards goodness and righteousness inshaAllah. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.